In this episode, we're at Stormbreak Game Refuge, a piece of public land south of Freeman, South Dakota, that I had a lot of luck on last time I was here. So today we'll be hunting rabbits, hoping to turn one into something delicious by the time we leave the area. Let's get to it. A lot of folks use dogs in their rabbit hunting, and I have to admit, I can see the allure. A dog will flush them, chase them, and retrieve them, which leaves you to do the shooting and cooking. I guess as long as the dog gets to share the reward, that's not a bad deal. However, I don't have a rabbit hunting dog and I just happen to like wandering. So a lot of what rabbit hunting entails when you're by yourself is walking, listening, watching, and walking some more. Did I mention walking? You want to hit the longer grasses and areas covered by trees if you can. Rabbits spend a good amount of their time hiding, and rightfully so, when you feed every predator in the area that can fly, slither, or run. One down, let's see what else we can get. That's two down. I figure we'll wander a bit more and head back to the truck. Now I set out to get rabbits today, but these fox squirrels are in season and they are delicious. I figure I've got enough for the day, so I head back to the parking area for the second part of my channel, Cook It. And today, I'm thinking a wild rabbit fried rice sounds mighty damn good. I take the long way through the brush just in case we see more game. I processed the first rabbit off camera and started working on the meat for our fried rice. Most people don't want to see the cleaning portion of the hunt, but when I was learning I looked forward to it for the sake of getting better. Leave a comment if that's something you want to see in future videos and I'm sure we can make it happen. As far as I'm concerned there are two different types of fried rice. Restaurant quality that has to be made a certain way and leftover style which gets some random things thrown in and may not be exactly what you think of when someone says fried rice. Today, we're going with number two. 
Today for our fried rice we have green beans, mushrooms, carrots, and white onion. The secret ingredient here is definitely soy sauce, but with about one eighth of the bottle of oyster sauce and a few drops of toasted sesame oil. It was delicious. I don't want to brag too much, and maybe it's just the bright orange vest, but even that honeybee had a pretty significant interest in my lunch. All right, y'all, that's all I have for you today. I think our next adventure will be dropping some Canada geese and showing off one of the best jerky recipes I've ever tasted. If you want to see something else, feel free to comment and I'll see what we can do. Like, subscribe, and most importantly, remember, if you kill it, cook it.